I'm honored to have Jill Simmons uh, on an interview here at uh, Trondheim. Uh, and um, welcome to Norway. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you are one of the best uh, teachers in uh, online education worldwide. So what are your success criteria when you helping staff going online okay. for the first time? Uh, so hi colleagues. So I've got four points for you, um, all of which you can have a look on my website and do a deeper dive into it. So first of all, you need to start thinking about your teaching as a design task. So you need to plan as much as you can before the students arrive. I don't just mean your timetable, which I'm sure you do anyway, or your schedule, but throughout the semester and, and, and actually planning the storyboard of who will do what and where. So be aware you can do that for blended learning or you can do it for entirely digital, remote, online learning. And then, if you've done that planning, the next part will be to deliver it. And you'll find if you've done good planning, the delivery comes much more easily. But you will need a few key skills like summarising and weaving the discussions to make it all work. So that's number one. So have a look on my website and look up storyboarding, which will help you to do that. Um, so number two, is the big tip is to help you to plan properly work out how many study hours your students have so you've got the length of time and then you'll know say there's 150 hours over a 12 week semester make sure you smooth them out and decide how that you you're going to use them productively so that's number two student study hours as your main currency the money you've got to spend on them um, number three is the five stage model. Now this is a model you'll find on my website or in my books and it was designed with remote students but is now used very much as well with blended and hybrid students. And there's five stages, this is what they are. One, make sure they've got a good access and that they're motivated not just once but many, many times to come back and take part. Number two, build a team. It's what we call online socialisation. Make it easy. Don't mean socialising, but everyone contributes something about themselves. And if you do this in advance of their physically meeting, you'll actually find it goes well because stereotypes are dampened down. <coughs> Number three, information exchange. Help them to exchange information about what they know or that they can easily find and this helps them to cooperate. They'll still be in pursuit of their own goals but they will cooperate. Number four is true collaboration. What you wanted to do anyway. If you do the first three then you'll find collaboration goes better. And don't forget reflection and metacognition. That's number five. Get them to look back and understand how they've learned as well as what they've learned. So my fourth tip is this, is have a look at my e-tivities framework. It's on the website, there's lots in there or there's books about it, e-tivities. And you'll find that that will help you to combine the storyboarding and the synchronous and asynchronous, lots of feedback, importantly, without using too much of your own time. But what is the biggest challenge to see? You've been worldwide teaching uh, teachers going online. What, what is the biggest challenge uh, going uh, online for the first time? Going online for the first time, I guess you'll feel that there's a barrier between you and your students. Try not to think of it like that. Imagine you're on a stage and you can reach out and they can reach out and touch you. Theatre people call it the fourth wall, but okay, it's a screen when we're online and when you're in the classroom, it's just air. Um, the main thing is to remember that everything will take the, just that little bit longer when you're online. So that's why the planning is important. Thank you so much. Good luck, everyone. And thank you so much. Okay. Yes, great. <laughs> great. Go on. Yeah. Take a photo of it. Hope that's what you wanted. Yes, yes. I, I have my own framework that, I, um, that I'm uh, making on a bit more practical approach uh, than you have. Uh, I have a 13-step.